And so the Intifada goes on and on and on, and in great measure because we have here a quote from Nan Shoro, the chief of state of the IDF, Sahel, Israeli Defense Forces. Shoro, Intifada can't be eradicated. This was a press conference that he, he held, foreign press, Israeli press. Intifada can't be eradicated. <laughs> How much was that worth to the Arabs? Can you put a number on how much that was worth the Arabs here? The chief of staff of the Israeli Defense Force is saying, we can't put them down. How much is that worth? If you really believe that, then shut up. Don't say it. Better still resign and let someone else who thinks he can put it down take over. We can't put down the Intifada. Let me be the chief of staff for two days. <laughs> you shut off the territories to the news media. You don't let them in. The Chicago Tribune. What, what do we owe them? Margaret Thatcher in the Falklands didn't allow the news media. Ronald Reagan in Grenada did not allow the news media. Gorbachev, that paragon of democracy. <laughs> Lithuania, there's no news media. <laughs> Only we, only we. You shut the territories off to the news media. Nobody goes in, especially the Israeli press. <laughs> and every morning you hold a briefing for them at the, at the King David Hotel. And if they're not happy, they get free tickets to the Wailing Wall. <laughs> and then you tell the soldiers, Hevla Bitkuda, orders. Yeah, 48 hours, I don't want what everyone to do, I don't want to see, and the father at the end of 48 hours. You think that there's going to be any the father? There will be deathly silence. Because in the Middle East, that's what they understand. Strength and only strength. And we sit here saying, well, after all, we'll sit down with them over coffee and cake and work, and work things out. Gaza is not Peoria. In Peoria, you, you, you can pretty, pretty much work on anything you, you want <laughs> over coffee and cake. In the Middle East, they understand only strength. And if you're strong, they may hate you, but they're afraid of you. And if you're weak, you're dead. And that is the Arab mind. It is a different world, a different culture, different mindset, different concepts. <laughs>